In this video, let us solve problems based on segment of a circle. And we've got a problem here which reads like this. Find the area of the segment of a circle given that the angle of the sector is 120 degrees and the radius of the circle is 21 centimeters. Take pi equals 22 by 7. All right, first let's translate this question into a diagram or rather let's have a diagram to support this solution. So say we've got a circle first of all and it says that the angle of the sector is 120 degrees. So sector is pretty important as far as the segment is concerned. So say this is the sector, it's 120 degrees, but segment comes into play when you draw this line, right? So when you draw that line, the segment is this part, the dotted part, the one that is enclosed by a chord and the, and the knock. So let me name that PQ. Let me name this O and let me name this R and let me name this S. So PQR is the segment that we're talking about and we need to find the area of that segment of the circle. So all that we have to do is uh, just substitute the values in the formula for the area of the segment and there you go. That's the answer. So what is the area of a segment? The area of a segment is given by A equals pi by 360 times theta minus sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 the whole multiplied by r square it was actually pi r square theta by 360 minus r square times sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 but since r square is the same in both terms we take it out as common to simplify the equation so it's basically you know finding the area of this entire sector and then subtracting just the triangle from it that's what it is so now uh, we've got pi is 22 by 7 and then we've got theta is 120 degrees and we've got the radius as 21 centimeters. So let us start solving the problem. So we've got 22 by 7 times, uh, we've got theta which is 120 over 360 minus sine 120 by 2 cos 120 by 2 times r square which is 21 square that is 21 times 21. So we've got 12 going 3 times in 36, then we've got 2 going 60 times in 120, the same year. So we're left with 22 divided by 21. 7 times 3 is 21, minus sine of 60 degrees is root 3 by 2, times cos 60 is a 1 by 2, the whole multiplied by 21 times 21. So now we've got to solve this part inside the brackets first. So we've got 22 by 21 and minus root 3 by 4. The whole times 21 times 21. So let's continue here now. So now, so now let's have this multiplied inside. So we've got 22 times 21 into 21 times 21 minus root 3 by 4, 21 times 21. So one of the 21 goes here. So we've got 22 times 21. So here we've got 22 times 21 as 462. Minus 21 times 21 is 441, root 3 by 4. Now, if you see that these are two terms, so 462 and 441, what is what can you take out from them? You, you can take out 21 from it because 21 times 22 is 462, minus 21 times 21 is 441, so 21 root 3 by 4. Yeah, so we've got 21 times 22 minus 21 root 3 by 4. And then now let's try to solve this. Let's take the denominator off from this bracket. So we've got, you know, we need to take the LCM, which is 4. So multiply by 4 and multiply this also by 4. So we've got 21 times 88. 22 times 4 is 88 minus 21 root 3, the whole divided by 4. So now since it's just multiplication, you can take out the 4 and write it as, you know, 21 divided by 4 multiplied by 88 minus 21 root 3 centimeters square. So this is the, you don't have to like solve it to the decimal point. You can just leave it like this since it's got a root. So it's going to be 21 by 4 times 88 minus 21 root 3 centimeters square. So this is the area of the segment that is given in the question here. So that's all that there is. All you have to do is just remember the formula for the area of the segment and substitute all the data that, that is given in the question to arrive at the answer. You just have to do a little bit of simplification you know simplifying all these equations to get an answer otherwise it's a pretty straightforward and simple question all that you have to know is remember this formula and how to apply the values in it so let's quickly solve another problem before we end this video 
So here we've got another question which reads like this. Card AB of a circle of radius 10 centimeters makes a right angle at the center of the circle. Find the area of the major and the minor segment. All right, so this is pretty similar to the previous problem, except that we have to find only the area of the minor segment of the previous problem. Here we have to find both the minor segment and the major segment, which is not a very tough task. Because once you find the minor segment, all you have to do is subtract that from the total area of the circle, and then you get the major segment. We've done similar stuff in the sector of the circle and its area. All right, so now let's have a diagram drawn for this. So we've got a circle here. Right, then we've got a card, we've got a card AB, we've got a card AB, which makes a right angle at the center. Here it is, so this is 90 degrees. All right, so let's name this O, and then what? It's got a, a radius of 10 centimeters, so this is 10 centimeters, this is 10 centimeters. Now, so what you have to find is the blue dotted portion. That's the area you have to find, and then of course the total area as well, apart from that. So let's start solving this problem. So we've got the formula A equals pi theta over 360 degrees minus sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2, the whole multiplied by r square. And we've got r is 10 centimeters, and we've got the theta as 90 degrees, so we've got a equals pi should be taken as 3.14, so 3.14 times 90 over 360 minus sine 90 degrees by 2 cos 90 degrees by 2 multiplied by r square which is 10, so 10 times 10. So 90 goes 4 times in 360 and 2 goes 45 times in 90. So as a result of which we've got A equals 3.14 over 4 minus sine of 45 degrees is 1 by root of 2 times cos 45 is also 1 by root 2. So the whole whole thing inside a bracket multiplied by 100, right? So this is centimeters square because the whole thing is the area. You calculate it, you get the area. So next step is 3.14 over 4 minus root 2 times root 2 is 1 by, I mean, it's just 2, so therefore it's just 1 by 2. So the whole thing multiplied by 100. So now let's multiply 100 inside. So we, we get 3.14 over 4 times 100 minus half times 100. So which is 4 goes 25 times in 100 and 2 goes 50 times in 100, right? So 3.14 times 25 minus 50 is the answer, which is 3.14 times 25 is 78.5 minus 1 times 50 is 50. So 78.5 minus 50 equals 28.5 centimeters square. So the area of the minor segment of this circle that's given here is 28.5 centimeters square. To find the area of the major segment, we have to find the area of the circle. So that is going to be area of the circle minus 28.5 centimeters square, right? We need to find this one. This is the major segment. Exclude the blue dots and everything is major segment. So area of the circle is pi r square. And you've got minus 28.5, pi is 3.14 times 10 times 10, minus 28.5. So this is 100 times 3.14, so that is nothing but 314 minus 28.5, which is 285.5 centimeters square. So the area of the major segment is 285.5 centimeters square. So this is nothing but is the area of major segment. Another straightforward and simple problem. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on segment of the circle.